Hey guys, Andrew Berg here. I'm a jazz musician and teacher, and today I'm reacting to J-Hope's new song, More. Um, all I've seen it from it so far is the uh, promotional pictures, um, which look really, really dark and um, a different side of J-Hope that I'm used to seeing. Um, so I'm excited to see what he's going to do with his first solo song like this. Um, yeah, I'm excited. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, the notification bell, so we can feed the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's get started. Yeah, there's that. Pedro had to be so. Oh, it's interesting. Look for him. The moment I'm a doggy. So I got the music. Any mini money mouth. Oh, he doesn't do the Eminem my email thing in um, Born with Fun as well, I think. Okay, I need to, um, went from, like, classic hip-hop to, like, grunge rock, like, Nirvana kind of-esque. That's interesting. That's a, I was, I did, out of anything I expected to see from J-Hope, it was not gonna be grunge rock. That was, um, but it sounded awesome. <laughs> I am, like, so, I'm so confused right now. This is like not at all where I thought it was going. I thought maybe it'd be like a little creepy or a little bit, but I always assumed it would still be in like mostly hip hop related and oh my God. Wow, okay. Anyway, after that initial shock, um, the um, Eeny Meeny Miny Mo um, section, I think he had that in um, Boys With Fun as well. He had something, I think very similar to that. Um, also, it was kind of cool. I think the lyric was like, it was any me, miny, mo, um, I can't remember the exact lyric, but something like dancing baby with the flow or something like that. Um, thought really cool little quote to throw in there, um, you know, the classic children's saying, phrase, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, so I said, I said the word quote, um, basically in music, if you ever are referencing or directly quoting another song inside of your song, it's called a quote. So that's like exactly what he did with that, uh, which is really, really cool. Also, I have read the lyrics on a uh, dual set as well. Um, and I saw the uh, letter that J-Hope released on Weavers, I think kind of when the song came out. Um, and I was kind of reading through it and everything. It was interesting seeing that like, you know, he's was talking about like exploring his other other sides of his personality um, with this like jack-in-the-box theme for this album and how that's how that itself is influencing the album as a whole um, so it's interesting to see again like this side of him but thinking about it from that perspective of him saying like I want to show different parts of me I want to be more than what I have been I want to be seen as a, a full person and one part that I really liked in there is he said something along the lines of um, you know, you won't just see more of J-Hope, you'll see more of Jung Ho Siak. And I think that is a really, really cool way to think about it and look at it as like, this is going to be, that this is going to be more of like him as a person versus just, you know, J-Hope of BTS. This is going to be more, a more full rounded version of himself, which I think is really cool. I'm, I'm excited for the whole album, really considering that aspect as well. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, if you saw my face during um, during that section right there, um, so I was super impressed with a few different things that he did. So the first thing I want to point out was directly after that chorus, the section like went like. That section is so cool in a number of ways. One is a jarring difference than the chorus, which again is this like grunge rock kind of hard hitting thing. Um, to go into that, which is very kind of light and um, much more sparse, is a really cool, I think, musical thing in general. But also how he's rapping that. Um, so I talked about in my reaction to this uh, BTS song on how Sugar Has a Lion says um, win no matter what. And it's, I was kind of talking about how, um, you know, the win no matter what is every three counts, but the song itself is in four counts. So you have this like polyrhythm or, or polymeter um, between three against four. j hopes sees something very similar in this as well. Um, to kind of think about it, it goes like... And it kind of repeats that for a while. But the impressive part about that is, again, he is rapping something that occurs every three counts, but the song itself has measures that are divided by every four counts. So he's essentially off from the music for, you know, 11 counts in a row, and then the 12th count comes in, and that's when he's lined up again. Uh, essentially, it's every 12 counts when that lines up, just because four times three, you know, if you know math and everything, um, what was that, the uh, least common, no, uh, was that the um, least common denominator, I think? Um, anyway, basically meaning that like it lines up that often. So it's a really tricky kind of thing to get right. This is a really, really cool and intricate song so far. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this. And then having it end like that, um, like musically going back to that like, you know, kind of old school hip hop kind of sound, um, but also going back to having that box and, you know, kind of closing the box. Really, really interesting uh, song in general. I mean, I love the, the meaning of the song itself, like, you know, getting these things and you can hear he's talking about throughout it kind of, you know, utilizing this experience he's gained from the past uh, 11 years, I think he said, he had to learn to rap in some ways. He had to learn to produce music in some ways. Um, at the very least, got better at both of those things. Um, so I think growing in that way and then coming to a spot where you can kind of come out and say like, okay, I've been doing all these different things, but now I'm ready to just do something different, be myself, and have this new album again, which it sounds like it's going to be touching on different points of his personality. Um, I really, really, I, I think it's an excellent concept. So I think it's incredible. I really am excited to see what else he's going to do with this, because this song already, like, shocked me in a way that was like, I just didn't expect the style from him. So I just want to, I'm very curious to see what else he's going to be doing on the rest of the album and future albums and other releases as well. Um, yeah, super, super cool. Thanks for watching. My name is Andrew Berg. And if you enjoyed this video, just please like, subscribe, the notification bell, so you'll find the next one I post. Till next time.